Today we're going to make some chemicals for developing film. Usually I do this in studio, but because Toronto is currently in lockdown, I'll be doing it at home. I like to set up my station before I start. What you're going to need is developer, stop, and fix, two measuring cylinders, one for water, one for chemicals, and a thermometer. I have three storage jars for my chemicals that are clearly labeled to prevent cross-contamination. D for developer, S for stop, F for fix. Choose containers that are either light tight or tinted and store it away from direct sunlight. I usually store mine under the kitchen sink. I got these jars on well.ca because they're much less expensive than using the light tight darkroom containers that are made specifically for photography. They are glass so just be careful how you handle them. For developer, I always base my chemical to water ratios depending on what kind of film I'm using. In this case, I'm going to be developing a roll of 35mm it's Ilford's HP 5 plus and the ISO is 400. So you'll see that there's already water in all of these jars. I just pre-measured it for filming purposes. However, I did not measure out my chemicals yet, so I'll be doing that with you. It's important to make sure your water's temperature is as accurate as possible. If the water is too warm while developing the film, it can speed up the development time and will cause your negatives to be overdeveloped, which can make it harder to read the information on the negative. If the water is too cold, the development time can also be affected by slowing down the processing time. The negatives may end up too light and again will make it really hard to read the information on it. I do not have a thermometer right now, but I've been doing this for about a decade, so I'm pretty good with feeling it out. Don't do this if this is your first time. I'll be developing one roll of film, so that's just about 500 millimeters that I'll need of prepare developer. So in this case, I'll be measuring out 33.3 millimeters of developer to 466 millimeters of water. I'll be reposting my ratio calculator at the end of this video. So milliliters 33. Make sure you always label your developer with when you open it because it it uh, allows you to know when you should switch it out. So 33, that's about 33 there. So I actually um, didn't put a hundred, it's missing a hundred milliliters of water, but I did that so I'll be able to rinse out the leftover chemicals in here because you don't want to waste any. And be sure to clean out your cylinder after you put chemicals in it because you don't want to cross contaminate it. Stop bath is a chemical agent that stops the development in its tracks. Once you reach the desired time of development and empty your tank, the stop bath will wash away any leftover developer. Some say you don't actually need to use stop because water does the same thing, which I say yes, but using stop helps properly clean the chemicals off the film, which will preserve your fixer. Uh, the fixer is the last stop of development, but it is a bit more expensive as chem chemical, so you, it's not something you want to constantly be thrown away. So you'll need about 25 milliliters of chemical to 475 milliliters of water. So I'm going to measure out 20 five milliliters. So 25 milliliters. So stop. And again, I didn't put a hundred milliliters in just so I can clean the excess chemicals that are left in the cylinder. It's okay to touch the chemicals with your hands, however, if you have a sensitivity to the chemicals, then definitely wear gloves, um, but it's not, it's not a toxic chemical unless you're actually allergic to the components. Okay, so the last step is mixing the fixer. Uh, the fixer is the final step of developing your film. Fixer stabilizes the image, removing the unexposed silver halide remaining on the photographic film. The reduced metallic silver is what forms the image. For a total of 500 milliliters, you're going to need 100 milliliters of fix to 400 milliliters of water. 
that's 100 and it smells like vinegar so stock is done here's the fix labeled F and I will add the remaining 100 to clean out for the excess chemicals see all of these should have the same amount, 500 milliliters total. For developer, I usually use it as a one-shot chemical and I toss it after each use. It is okay to toss this down the sink. Um, it's too risky to reuse this chemical. You really don't want to mess up your film. You only have one shot for developing, so it's always a fresh batch that I make. For stop bath, I usually use it a handful of times before disposing it properly. By this I mean you can't throw it down the drain. There is some toxic chemicals in here that you don't want to put down the water system. Because I do have a studio that disposes of the chemicals properly, I will bring it to the studio. But I will put a link of companies that will pick up your chemicals for free. For fixer, I use it about six times before I dispose of it properly as well. The reason why is because there is traces of silver in here, so they do like to um, separate the silver from the chemicals and they do whatever they do with the silver. And that's about it. The next video we're going to actually process the film. Let me know in the comments below what kind of containers you like to use, what kind of chemicals you like to use, how do you store your chemicals, how do you dispose of your chemicals, and um, if you have any tips and tricks for any of the viewers on what to expect. Thanks for watching.